What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $1 million buy-in. And they gave us 10 quarters to get started today. Pretty expensive game. So I uh, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with millions of dollars. That was all 10 quarters at one time right there. Let's see what it does. Oh my goodness, nice. There we go. We got several stacks of quarters to go already. Sweet. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. Look at all these quarters we got now. I'd say that's probably about, oh gosh, like 50, 55 of them or so. So yeah, let's keep on pushing. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff in there today. This is honestly probably one of the best setups I've seen in there in a very long time. They got a humongous wall made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips. Oh my goodness, nice, there it goes. We're already getting it to go. Oh my goodness, wow. Wow, look at that, it is pushing remarkably well. Oh yeah, let's get that loot sheet cleared out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this has to be the biggest jackpot ever at the High Limit Coin Pusher. This is insane. Holy smokes. Wow, look at all this gold we've won. It is incredible. And check that out. There is a uh, Mr. Bag hidden in there. i just seen that. And look at that. There is a uh, $1 chip over there on that right side. Uh, if we can somehow win that, that'll be worth uh, 500 free quarters. So, yeah, that is absolutely amazing. We could really, really use that. But there's definitely a mountain of quarters down there in the uh, payout chute. Oh my goodness, nice, there we go. Wow, we got all them quarters off of the left-hand side there, sweet. Alright, this is doing pretty good. I grabbed some quarters out of the loot chute a second ago just to keep the game going for a little bit. Yeah, it looks like there was uh, three stacks of cash on that great big old wall way up there at the top, so... I don't think I've ever seen a poker chip wall that had like cash on top of it. My goodness. Wow, that loot chute was getting extremely full. Now there's a stack of cash stuck down in there. I'll have to get that cleared out in just a moment. Oh nice, there's another $1 chip on this left side here. Check that out. So yeah, it'd be another 500 free quarters if we could get that. That'd be absolutely exceptional. So uh, you're welcome to take a guess down in the comments section and uh, let me know how much money you think I'm going to win today from a $1 million buy-in. I mean, honestly, that is a reasonable price game compared to normal here lately. The buy-ins have been a minimum of $5 million, so yeah, we got pretty lucky on this game right here. So anyhow, before I get that loot chute cleared out, I'm going to go ahead and open up this Mr. Bag. I've been holding it in my hand for a couple minutes now. So let's check it out and see what we got. Nice, check this out. We got three more $1 chips. That's 1,500 extra quarters. And uh, we also got the $10 chip and the $5 chip. So the $5 chip, we'll get to turn that in. They'll take all that stuff that is on the blue shelves and they'll put it all into the playing field somewhere. And uh, this $10 chip, this is worth one or more free bonus towers. I get to cash this in. They'll let me spin a wheel. And uh, that wheel has a bunch of different types of chip values on there. And uh, whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower or towers they'll build inside the machine. So that is incredible. Mr. Bag was stacked up brilliantly well. So anyway, I'm going to get that loot chute cleared out, round up all those quarters, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I got that loot chute completely cleared out. My goodness, talk about a boatload of money. There was tons of gold bars, five and $10,000 chips. We got one stack of cash already. Yeah, this is doing brilliantly well today. And I'd say there was ever bit of at least 250 ounces of gold down there in that uh, payout chute. So this is going to be a golden win today. We're definitely going to win a whole bunch of gold out of there. I mean, we already have, but I'm still seeing quite a bit of gold in there, like on the lower shelf. There's some on the blue shelves there. But yeah, uh, later on, whenever I turn in that $5 chip, they will put all that stuff that is on the blue shelves into the playing field for free. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, those two towers way back there, y'all probably can't see them at the moment, but there's like 
two humongously tall towers entirely made out of $25,000 chips. So, and those look like they're about two or three million dollars each. So, we're definitely going to make way more than one million dollars back. There's like no doubt about that whatsoever. And also, something else I should let y'all know, I actually have a little bit of a cold or a sinus infection. Either that or a viral infection, it's one of the three. So uh, if I sound like I have a stuffy nose or something, I just wanted to go ahead and let y'all know what was going on. But I do have some good news though. Uh, if you've seen, I believe it was yesterday's video or the video before that, I told y'all that I I've got my CPAP machine and stuff because I have a mild sleep apnea. Well, I actually started using the uh, full face mask, the one that goes over your mouth and nose. Because, I mean, my nose has always been completely stopped up, especially at night time. And I can't use nasal spray every day because that ain't good for you to use it like every day 24 7. But, Anyhow, I decided to use the full face mask, the CPAP machine mask, and uh, I actually slept all night last night. I think I slept about five or six hours, and I felt like a brand new human being when I woke up this morning. So, yeah, those CPAP machines definitely work. They work for most people if you have that sleep apnea. But uh, if you're tired all the time and you get frequent headaches and you feel like, what's the word, like, brain fog or foggy headedness every single day it, it's probably time to go to a doctor and get checked out because uh, the odds are you could have uh, obstructive sleep apnea so yeah definitely go and get that checked out if you experience those symptoms and if you don't get it checked out I mean it could lead into a bunch of other health problems that you don't want trust me definitely don't want the consequences from not treating the sleep apnea so yeah basically you just make an appointment you tell them what's going on and uh, they think that you might have sleep apnea they'll schedule you in for like a what do you call it like a sleep study overnight and they typically wake you up at like six in the morning or something and they start like hooking up a bunch of wires to you I guess to monitor like oxygen and all that stuff while you sleep and basically it gives them an accurate uh, diagnosis for whether or not you have uh, sleep apnea so definitely get that checked out and uh, not being offensive or not trying to be offensive at all when I say this but sleep apnea is mostly common in uh, people who are overweight so uh, weight could be another factor that's causing the sleep apnea to see if you're like me, I'm like in between 100 and 150 pounds. I don't want to say the exact weight just because, but uh, let's just say I'm in between 100 and 150 pounds and I have mild sleep apnea. So basically what was happening to me, I guess like the muscles in my throat were relaxing whenever I was going to sleep and uh, it was interfering with like the REM sleep, like the restful sleep. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, enough talk about the sleep apnea and stuff. But uh, last thing I'm going to say is if you have any of those symptoms, uh, please go to a doctor and get it checked out because I could be saving your life here. So, anyway, we got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely amazing. We got the whole entire play field cleared out already. That is incredible. So, uh, anyhow, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn in that $10 chip and all those $1 chips. And uh, we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I uh, turned in those five one dollar chips and that ten dollar chip. Now they gave me twenty five hundred extra quarters, and I got to spin that wheel. And today it landed on one ounce gold bars, as you can see there. They got a humongous wall or pyramid of gold in there. I'd say that right there is every bit of like fifty to a hundred ounces of gold or more. I mean, there's five gold bars in each one of these, like, stacks, so you're welcome to uh, count that up if you want to. I actually might do that myself. Hang on. I think I counted, like, 135 or 140 ounces of gold there. So, yeah, this honestly might be a new record win for the gold. 
and not counting the gold dice, by the way. And speaking of dice, I don't think we've won any dice today, and I'm not seeing any more Mr. Bags in the machine, so there may not be any dice in this game. That might be why they wanted only a million dollars for it. I have no clue, but I sure do hope we can make a nice profit off of this game. I played one other game today before this one. It was a $5 million buy-in, and it was a 50 quarter challenge. I put those 50 quarters in there. I got it to go, and I think we got like a couple five and $10,000 chips back. But uh, let's just say we lost probably around uh, $4,990,000. Or no, like, it, it's something around there. I can't remember the exact amount, but you get what I'm trying to say. We technically lost close to uh, five million on that game. Oh yeah, this derby gold wall, it's literally about to crash down. It's like right there on the edge. That is crazy. All right, let's get that loot sheet cut out. Just to be sure we don't end up losing something, because uh, a lot of times... If that loot chute boils over too much, there's actually this little opening space right up above it. And uh, if it gets too full, money will sometimes like fall down that little opening space and it'll go to the house. I won't get to win or keep any of that money. And as you can see, it's starting to pile up again. Nice, there we go. We got the whole entire tower to go now. Sweet. Alright, let's get all that stuff cleared out of the uh, loot chute. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep on pushing. So I got that loot chute all cleared out. Uh, so now let's try to uh, win as much gold as we can. Now there's probably about, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 ounces of gold left in there to win. So let's get that out of there and we'll be set. We'll be ready to turn in that $5 chip. Yeah, I'm most excited about turning in that $5 chip because... Uh, they got so much stuff on the blue shelves and a whole bunch of $25,000 chips way back in the back. So, yeah, we should make a fortune off of this game today. We already have. Everything we win from, from here on out is like pure profit pretty much. So, yeah, we're doing remarkably well on this game. Nice, there we go. We got that gold bar on the right. Well, I think this uh, gold bar over here on this left side here might be pretty difficult to win. It'll be very time-consuming, so I think we'll just leave that in there for the next round. So anyhow, let's go ahead and turn in the $5 chip. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip, and uh, they took all that stuff that was on the blue shelf, so they put it all into the playing field. So it looks like all the five and the $10,000 chips towers that were remaining from that wall are right there in the center of the playfield, so that's pretty nice. And the uh, two ginormous towers made out of uh, $25,000 chips, those are on the pusher. They got that $1 chip on top of this tower here, so that's another 500 quarters. Even though I really don't think we're going to need it after we uh, knock down all these towers, because there's no more special chips in there we get to cash in today. Well, there's definitely not, because there's no mystery bags. The special chips would typically be found in the mystery bags. So let's see. I'm going to rapid fire probably about a thousand quarters in there at once. Are you ready? This right here is going to be insane if I don't drop all the quarters in the floor. Or if I don't let the skill stop button go by accident. Alright, here we go. I'm really trying my best here. Alright, there we go. That was about... Uh, well, I didn't mean to let go of the skill stop. And anyhow, let's see what this does. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow, we lost a bunch to the blue shell. So, uh, you know what that means? That means we're going to have to pay an extra $100,000 to have them put that back into the playing field. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Nice. I got that loot suit cleared out, and a whole bunch of money went flying out of there. Wow, it is super, super piled up now. Well, just take a look at all these ginormous towers. Alright, let's see what that does. That was another basket of quarters. I'm just going to keep on rapid firing a bunch of quarters in there. Oh yeah, nice. There we go. We got the humongous tower over there on the right. 
I'd say the rest of it's going to go into the pay here shortly. Yep. All right, so let's rapid fire a whole bunch more quarters in there. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, this is going to be amazing. Come on. Yeah, that right there should give us uh, several good waves of quarters. Several good ways of movement, that's what I meant to say. Oh yeah, nice. We're getting so many $25,000 chips and $10,000 chips and gold. Wow, we're doing super, super well on this game today. And also, if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying this awesome video, uh, do me a humongous favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, enable that post bell notification bell, that way you get notified whenever I post a brand new video. I pretty much post videos every single day. Uh, my goal is to post a video every single day this year. I think last year I might have missed like 10 videos or so. But uh, I technically upload every single day consistently now. I don't think I've missed a video at all this year. Or when I did, I always made it up with a uh, two videos in one day type of thing. So... Yeah, like I said, there's going to be uh, at least 365 videos this year. Well, I think this year is uh, one day longer. I think there's 366 days in this year here, so I guess you'll be seeing 366 videos this year for me. Alright, so that was the rest of those quarters. We pretty much got it all cleared out of there already. There's just a whole bunch of chips on the corners we gotta win. Oh yeah, nice, there we go. That was a good push. So before we pay the extra 100 grand, I'm gonna try to, I guess, win all these quarters back that are super, super piled up. A lot of times whenever we uh, call them back here to have them reset the machine for whatever reason, they will take some of the quarters off of the play field and they'll keep the quarters for themselves so I mean which I don't think that's fair at all but it is what it is it's their rules so the least I can do is just win all these quarters back before uh, paying extra money so Oh yeah, that 50 grand on the right corner is about to go. Come on, big push. Nice, we got it. We're getting quarters left and right and center. We're definitely getting a ton of quarters today. Get the grand on that left corner, inching forward slowly but surely. Yeah, we'll either get that out of there on this round or the next round. We're definitely going to get it, though, no matter what. Wow, let's take a look at all those quarters we're winning back. I mean, we're technically not profiting any quarters. We're just winning the ones that I've stacked up in there really, really high, so... Now we might as well push that last 50 grand out of there. Don't see no reason why we shouldn't. Plus we need to win some of these quarters on this right side here regardless. I'm just uh, pushing across the whole field. Trying to keep everything moving nice and evenly. Oh yeah, nice. We got the 50 grand. Let's try one more push on the right. We got that many quarters left. Let's put those in there. Alright, come on. We need a nice push. Give me those quarters back. Oh yeah, nice. There we go. That was perfect. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and pay the extra $100,000 and have them uh, put all that stuff that we lost back in here. So let me go call them back here and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I paid that extra $100,000 and uh, they took all that stuff that we lost to the blue shelves. And looks like they built it all into like one gigantic tower back there on the pusher. So that is in a super, super good spot. Should be fairly easy to win, I guess. We just gotta keep a steady base of quarters built up behind it, keep it pushing right there in the middle. We'll get that tower to crash down in no time, hopefully. So anyway, I cleared that loot shootout before I paid the extra hundred grand. 
just to double check to see if there was any more special chips in there, and uh, obviously there wasn't. So, uh, yeah, usually like on the smaller buy-in games, or let's just say you typically have to do a buy-in of $5 million at minimum in order for the uh, special chips to be in there, like a bunch of them anyway. So, and today's game was a $1 million buy-in, but still, we should make some good money off of this game. Don't see no reason why we shouldn't. Oh yeah, nah, see what I'm saying? We got that humongous tower to go already. That is what I'm talking about. And also, I turned in that other $1 chip that gave me 500 more quarters, so... And uh, if you've made it this far into the video, be sure you comment the number 8 down in the comment section. Comment the number 8 if you've made it this far into the video. Yeah, that just lets me know that you're still watching and stuff. So, yeah. And uh, sorry if I don't sound super enthusiastic today. Like I said... I've got a little bit of like a cold or something. I don't think it's contagious or anything. So anyway, we got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely amazing. So uh, we have not won any dice today. So I guess it's just time to count everything up. And I'll let y'all know how much money we've made today. So I'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely incredible. I ended up winning $17,355,000. That is the chips and the cash put together. So let's go ahead and subtract the $1.1 million. So this right here is what we profited for the day. Ended up profiting $16,255,000 from a $1.1 million buy. And that is a humongous win today. Holy smokes, I was not expecting to win anywhere near that amount of money. That is absolutely incredible. And on top of that, we ended up winning, I believe it was uh, 397 ounces of gold. And uh, the spot price of gold, I think it's like 2180 an ounce right now. So that means we got $865,460 in gold. So that right there is pretty close to our buying money back just in gold bars alone. That is exceptional. And uh, last but not least, we ended up winning, I believe it was 2,967 quarters. So let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $741.75 in quarters. That is a humongous win for the quarters right there. So anyhow, that is not bad, not bad at all for a $1.1 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, uh, be sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I post a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. And if you want to check out my previous video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen there. And if you want to check out one of Coin Pressure's videos, that will appear at the top left of the screen there. And lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I'll see everybody on the next video. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.